Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. x to the power x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 2x plus 1. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by multiplying both sides of this equation by x to the power 2x plus 1. We have the expression x to the power x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 2x plus 1. And we multiply both sides of this equation by x to the power 2x plus 1. At right side we multiply by x to the power 2x plus 1. Next, x to the power 2x plus 1 times x to the power this x minus 1 whole squared is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 times x plus 1 times x to the power 2x plus 1. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. This expression will become x to the power 2x plus 1 plus this power x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1 times x to the power 2x plus 1. Now, this uh, negative 2x will be cancelled out with this uh, positive 2x and uh, at left side we are left with uh, x to the power x squared and this one plus this one will become plus 2 is equal to 2x plus 1 times x to the power 2x plus 1. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. This uh, x to the power x squared plus 2 will become x to the power x squared times x squared is equal to 2x plus 1 times x to the power 2x plus 1. Now, we change the position of this uh, x squared. We write this uh, x squared first, x squared times this x to the power x squared is equal to 2 times x plus 1 times x to the power 2x plus 1. Now, if we compare the left hand side with the right hand side, we see that uh, at left side we have uh, x squared times x to the power x squared and uh, at right side we have uh, 2x plus 1 times x to the power 2x plus 1. So, we can write this x squared equal to this uh, 2x plus 1 like this x squared is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, we move this uh, 2x and this plus 1 to the left side, then this equation will become x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and it is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to negative 2. 1 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b negative 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write a negative 2 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next, x is equal to 
this minus and this minus will become positive 2 plus or minus square root of this negative 2 squared is 4 and this negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is plus 4 divided by this 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of this 4 plus 4 8 divided by 2 and x is equal to 2 plus minus this square root of 8 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 2 divided by 2. Next x is equal to 2 plus or minus this square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 2 divided by 2 and x is equal to from here we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in brackets left 1 plus minus square root of 2 divided by 2 now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x x1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 and x2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 2. So, these are the two solutions of this equation. Now, let us verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation. The original equation is x to the power x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 2x plus 1. First, in this equation, we put this value of x1, 1, 1 plus root 2. Then, this equation will become, in place of x, we write 1 plus root 2. Whole to the power, this power, in place of this x, we write 1 plus root 2 minus this one whole squared is equal to 2 times in place of this x we write 1 plus root 2 plus this one. Now, this negative 1 will be cancelled out with this positive 1 and this square will be cancelled out with this square root. So, at left side we are left with 1 plus root 2 whole squared is equal to 2 times 1, 2 plus 2 times root 2, 2 root 2 plus this one. Now, this 1 plus root 2 whole squared is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 2 times root 2 is equal to this 2 plus this one will become 3 plus root 2 times root 2 and this 1 plus 2 will become 3 plus 2 times root 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 times root 2. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this solution 1 plus square root of 2 is a valid solution. Now, in this equation, we put this value of x to 1 minus root 2. In place of this x, we write 1 minus root 2 whole to the power. In place of this x, we write 1 minus root 2 minus this 1 whole squared is equal to 2 times in place of this x we write 1 minus root 2 plus this 1. Now, this negative 1 will be cancelled out with this positive 1. Negative square root of 2 whole squared is equal to 2. So, at left side we are left with 1 minus root 2 whole 
squared is equal to 2 times 1, 2 and 2 times the negative square root of 2, negative 2 square root of 2 plus this one. Now, this 1 minus root 2 whole squared is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 2 times root 2 is equal to this 2 plus this 1 will become 3 minus 2 times root 2 and this 1 plus this 2 will become 3 minus 2 times root 2 is equal to 3 minus 2 times root 2. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this solution x 2 1 minus square root of 2 is also a valid solution.